sad, isn't it? And this did reduce it off for sale. I'll assume you went on going bad, okay? Now, move your lips around, the drone will change. Australian animal sound. That's called Babbage and Kookaburra. <coughs> now, that hasn't got a microphone in it, the microphone's here, okay? That does pick up a little bit of sound. But because of the shape of the didgeridoo, because of a little bit of a flare on the bottom, there's a big, thick didgeridoo, it's a lot louder than a very thin didgeridoo, okay? So the first one, Babbagen, the second one, Kangaroo Hopping, called Mirren, Mirren. <laughs> Victoria, we call Dingo Ernie sometimes. <laughs> but the Dingo down here, his name is Warrigal. And down the road here, you've got a township called Warrigal in Gippsland. And just near Warrigal, you've got another township called Na Na Goon. Does anybody live in Na Na Goon? You know what Na Na Goon means? Ugly water rat. <laughs> now, so in Australia, you have over 500 Aboriginal groups. Out of 500 Aboriginal groups, there's over 300 dialects of language spoken in Australia. Within the 100 kilometres radius of Melbourne, there was five Aboriginal groups that spoke the same dialect of language, could understand one another. Now, the didgeridoo we adopted here in Victoria by a man by the name of David Galpall. David Galpall used to come and stay at my mother's place and uh, when he came down from Queensland, and my people didn't play didgeridoo. People think all Aboriginal people play didgeridoo and throw boomerangs. Wrong. Northern Territory, Western Australia play didgeridoo. My people were the only ones to have this. Nobody else had it in Australia. Everybody thinks all Aboriginal throw boomerangs. No, they don't. Only my people did. Now, a boomerang. That boomerang there was made by my great-great-great-grandfather over 220 years ago. Look how small it is. Look how thin it is. It was made from this type of tree here called blackwood. He used a stone axe. He used river sand to make that. Now, these two here, they're 150 years old. The same thing. That one's a blackwood and that one's an oak. So the boomerang is very small. You notice they're not painted. You know why? My people didn't have paint to paint with. My people had ochre. Ochre is clay. Now clay is wet and it'll wash off. So what I've done today, I've copied that boomerang onto my boomerang. There's my boomerang. That was made with electric saw and electric sander last night. Okay? Now, when I finish throwing my boomerangs, if you're interested, I do sell my boomerangs, they're $15 each, right or left hand. Now, there was no such thing as an Aboriginal left-handed thrower. If you picked up something in your left hand, it was taken and put in your right hand. That's the right hand, that's the left hand. If you look on the top of the boomerang, the wood is tapered off on the top and it's tapered off on the inside. We turn the boomerang around, the tapers here, the tapers here, and we put it in the opposite hand, we throw them, they won't take off, they'll be slipped to ground, not fly. Yeah. So on the right hand of throw it, <coughs> so I'll throw a couple for you. And um, what a boomerang was used for? When the duck was flying across the sky, or Eddie McGuire, <laughs> you throw this into the flock of duck and you knock one or two out of the sky. That's what a comeback boomerang was used for. Then they'd bring the duck home, put river mud all over his body, put him in the coals for fire and cook him in the river mud. When the mud went hard, we took it out of the campfire, hit the mud, break it off the duck's body. Guess where the feathers are? Stuck in the mud. Come your orphans up inside. No smell. Watch this, guys. Just a little bit of a breeze coming in. Not much. We'll see how we go. Come this way. So what we want is to come this way. Because this is the only place you can throw a boomerang. Really speaking, I should be standing down there in front of that that way. Does that all happen? Get caught in that tree there. Could get caught in that tree. Now, that makes it a little bit awkward, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Because of this breeze coming in, if a boomerang comes into the audience, you catch it like that, you keep it. If it's coming towards you, don't look at it, look at it catch it, it'll all hit you. Okay? <laughs> and in 28 years of throwing boomerangs here, I'll get one person. That's 
Right, watch this guys, you ready? Now, uh, if you got anyone loosen baby? Yeah, drop baby, catch boomerang, eh? Right, here we go. Oh, look at that! Is that a... Oh, thank you. Thank you. what, you're a good audience. Didn't leave the audience last week, I didn't clap if I caught it. So I'll tell you what, I'm not put in there, I'm going to go for every throw I can throw, and I'm going to try and catch them all. So let's try and get one, eh? Right, here we go, watch this, guys. Oh, look at that, too easy. That's that. You good audience. See how that boomerang hovered down slow? No one makes it hover. See the back on the boomerang, see that taper there? You know what that is on a, that's, uh, that's a flat on an aeroplane. You know how the plane slows down, the back of the flat drops to slow the plane down? That's what slows the boomerang down. If you don't have that on the back of the boomerang, it'll just... Okay? Now, this will be another one. So, um, what you got to do, make a fist, thumb and finger, and when you throw, you look straight ahead. You know what I'm looking at? I'm looking straight at your head, brother. <laughs> that, yeah, him, I'm brother there. So his sister moves away. Look. <laughs> so that is my spot to throw the boomerang where you're standing. And we hope it turns before it gets to you, which it will, I hope. So, but if you're throwing, what I'm doing, I'm not taking my eye off his head. So I'm aiming straight like that. Sister's not worrying about the little baby. Look, she's letting the baby walk around, but she's worrying about herself. <laughs> so, ah, doesn't speak, uh, doesn't, can't hear. Correct, okay. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll make a deal. If I catch another d two in a row, is this a little girl, they've got a little, this little girl, if I get catch another two in a row, she can keep my boomerang. If I drop it, <laughs> if I drop it, you take me out for lunch. <laughs> now, wouldn't it be the other way around be better? Because I'm going to drop it, aren't I? No. If I catch... <laughs> Just throw the boomerang, will you? <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> One more, and some little girl. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Birds are making noises to put me off here. Any boomerang out of my bag and do that, otherwise I wouldn't give it away, would I? <laughs> so, um, she's clapping hands too. <laughs> <laughs>